We get this much in, in one week. Okay, that's the yeah. dried proof. Yeah, right. Okay, okay. this is definitely a live bat just hanging outside this restaurant that we were at for lunch. Okay, that's really creepy. This is where we stop for a buffet lunch. Those are all rice patties below me. That looks like a giant bird's nest. And there's my little birdie. In the middle of streets, at intersections, we see these little boxes with incense. And I guess they're offering boxes.
It's another little offering. And here are some more on the steps. Okay, this is definitely a live bat just hanging outside this restaurant that we were at for lunch. Okay, that's really creepy. It's kind of robusta coffee. Okay. It's, yeah. Oh, robusta, robusta coffee. Is a stronger taste. We uh, harvest the coffee when it's turned red. Uh, some of this is a red color that is really ripe. Okay. We pick up directly from the tree and then we process until powder. We call it Bali coffee, just regular coffee. And also we have Lua coffee. Uh, Lua is the animal's name. They will eat that coffee and we get the poo. Yeah. The poo up the cat, civet cat. And what do you do with the poo from the cat? Uh, that we take the poo, the coffee bean from the poo, and then we process. We drink that coffee. Oh, yeah. So the animal, the lua, they will eat the coffee. They don't chew it. They just swallow the coffee bean because the red bean of coffee very sweet. They like eat sweet fruit. And then they swallow it, process fermentation, the seed, the seed is come out into the poo. We take that seed, we wash, and then we process that until powder. Okay. Yeah. That we call Lua coffee. Lua coffee. The most expensive coffee in the world. Because the animal is very picky. They choose the best coffee bean. 
Okay. Uh, they live wild here, the, to the animal. And uh, the animal, they live wild. And uh, they active every night. The nocturnal animal. So every night, they will eat the coffee. But other than coffee, they eat papaya and banana. And what do they look like? Looks like a cat. Looks like a cat. Mongoose. Malo nang si. Okay. Ah, look like a cat. We have also the cocoa fruit. Cocoa tree. Oh, yeah, the black color first. that is not good. So the green turn yellow. Yellow cocoa. It's ripe. We make it the chocolate oh. from the bigger cocoa over there. I see. We take the seed of that cocoa. We make it the chocolate. Other than coffee, we have chocolate. But we have small garden just for sample, just to show you. Okay. Yeah, because this is community of local people. Ah. We got everything from local people as well, and we make it the product like different flavor of coffee. This is the uh, banana tree, but not the season yet. Mm, banana. We grow banana, papaya, coffee, cacao, and for the fertilizer, we use cow dung. Okay, yeah, so that's cow dung fertilizer. Yeah. Okay, fertilizer. that's good for the plantation, but not good the smell. <laughs> <laughs> and the season of coffee here is twice a year. This month, but when it's turned red, it's set to harvest. Every tree of coffee, they got the beans. They have beans, coffee beans. This kind of the robusta. We have two kind of coffee: robusta, arabica. Like and those are the, the cows that make the dung. Yeah, <laughs> cow dung. And we didn't uh, take the cow's milk and the milk just for the baby. And ah. after being that baby, we sell them. Ah, I see. Yeah, that's why I love the US okay. Very small flower. From this small flower become to big cacao pods that is took time six months. Now all the flower is coming. So those are all cocoa flowers. <laughs> and a small banana. I see. <laughs> and a papaya. And we have these things in Florida where we're from. Yeah. In the United States. Yeah. Well, we don't have coffee trees. Oh, okay. And we don't have the cacao. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> And uh, here in Bali, we have um, a small garden. Every family, we have small, small garden. It's not until one hectare, it's a few meters. And uh, what they have in their garden always, they uh, sell here to make it the powder. Oh, yeah. I see. And we have a different flavor of, of coffee. Everything we mix with coffee, like we have coconut coffee, cacao coffee, chocolate coffee or mocha. Ah. And also vanilla and uh, ginseng. Mm. I think mm, I can smell like coffee. Them. Am I smelling the trees? Yeah. It smells like a cup of coffee. Uh -huh. Yeah, the aroma. Because yes. we have the process there. Can you smell? Oh, oh, it's from the processing yeah. up yes, there. From the processing. Oh, I thought I was smelling coffee in the trees. <laughs> So if you smell the yeah, coffee the fruit in on the tree, it's nothing smells. Uh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, really. All right. Yeah. So we're getting closer to the roaster. That's yeah. why I smell it. Mm -hmm. And a different the animal. <clears throat> this animal is kind of a uh, mongoose or civet cat, a type oh. of cat. Yes. But nocturnally, you can see the face from there. Because this is a nocturnal cat, they native in Asia. So where are they have a lot of coffee? They live there. Okay. Uh, it's not just in Bali. They live in like Vietnam, Thailand, like that. 
but some place where the coffee grows, they leave them. Like a little bit like yeah, like that. Oh, hello. Yeah, the face is like hello. a fox, a bit like a mongoose. <laughs> they just sleeping and we keep here just for sample we keep here maximum um, one a week it's maximum and then we let them free I see because the wild that is a good uh, quality of coffee I and see. in the cage they don't want to eat the coffee just for the sample how is ah, the animal I they see. live on the tree in the forest uh, but I don't know how much the the population uh, and just researching the poo in the forest floor also we join with all the local people to collect the poo and how much they get the poo always they bring inside to process usually we got one kilogram until four to five days to get one kilo it's interesting sometime until one week because not every day this animal will eat the coffee sometimes they eat just papaya or just banana so the first story of Lua coffee it's in Bali a long time ago when the Dutch colonial oh, okay. yeah so because of the rule our local people we're not allowed to pick up coffee from the tree we just searching coffee when this coffee goes down mm. and someone they find the poo coffee because that poo it's still whole coffee yeah and then they take the coffee they processing they drink that coffee the taste different with the regular coffee. yeah so okay. that coffee become less caffeine and very mild taste how oh, interesting because of process fermentation they got special enzyme in the stomach so the coffee bean does not digest yeah it's, it's whole just, oh yeah that's the whole bean because they digest just skin of coffee because oh, the skin I is see. very sweet yeah they like eat sweet fruit i see yeah seem like the papaya or banana if not ripe enough they don't want to eat i don't like papaya or banana that isn't ripe enough either oh, yeah. <laughs> And you can see how you have the traditional process to make it coffee. You can go up this one. You can see the processing. The first coffee bean, when we pick up from the plant directly. Dry beans, we need to roast them like that. Okay. Uh, take about 45 minutes per kilo. Okay. 20 minutes that much with the soya wood. Getting dark color like this. Mm -hmm. And then we need to put here. We grind it here. And we need to sift it to get the fine powder. That is the final process. And you can smell the cookie. Yeah. Ah, you smell the coffee yes. from there before? <laughs> That's a good coffee. Yeah. <laughs> this, this is the regular coffee. It's not the lower coffee. I see. Then the first powder. This we put back. Just, yeah, just step by step. It should be pounded some more. Yeah. So here the all worker. We work together, the local people. Mm -hmm. And when we get tired, we need to switch with other workers. I see. And also the processing is not just to showing the people we process coffee every day like this. So you have to do it. Local people we drink coffee a lot. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now we got like this much. We don't want uh, any more. Just come out like this. Next we need to wash. It's after wash. We get this much in, in one week. Okay, that's the yeah. dried poo. Yeah, dried right. poo. Okay. Then we yeah. wash by hot water to kill the yes. bacteria, everything. And then dry under the sun. After dry, we need to peel the shell like this. I see. And then after we peel the shell, we come like this. Inside of the poo, it is quite similar like chicken egg. They got shell. And quite similar like normal coffee. So to make it the powder, both, it's the same process. I like see. This. Yeah. And also we make it the cocoa. This is cocoa beans. Inside of the bigger fruit, we got many beans. And then this is roasted cocoa, just a little bit smell. Mm. Yeah. You can smell the cocoa. Mm. You can try. This is the 100% cocoa, but very bitter. 
but no food. No, no. <laughs> Just the cocoa. <laughs> the, the pure cocoa. No. <laughs> you can try hot cocoa like that. Mm. This is a nut to food. Just this but that's very, that's good. Yeah. Just it's a like touch a of sugar would be better, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, some spices. We have ginger. This mm -hmm. is turmeric. Usually for cooking. But uh, because in Bali there is no tea plantation, we make a herbal tea. So just we make it the powder because here tea is sugar and hot water, we call it tea. I see. So the ginger tea, ginger, sugar, hot water, that's it. We call it ginger tea. Same like the turmeric tea. I see. And the sugar. A lemon grass. <coughs> we use a lot when we make it soup. And also the rosella or hibiscus. And local fruit, mango steam. Yeah, we make tea from all of this. Okay. Just the herbal tea. And this uh, is just for cooking, like cloves. Uh, cinnamon, cinnamon, nutmeg, it's just for cooking, some yes. chili, and the pepper, and this one flower, a frangipani, balinus flower, we make it incense stick from this flower. Ah. Yeah, you can smell the incense, because incense... Yes, I've been smelling that all yeah. over Bali. Yeah, because it's uh, very important for us for a praying, meditation, yeah, it's made from the frangipani flower, ilang ilang. And also from sandalwood. And this one just dry this flour, we make it a powder, we add oil, we roll with the bamboo stick. Yeah. Someone some people they make it black color also. Oh, nice. Ginseng coffee. Yeah, this one for power energy. Lemon grass tea. Coconut coffee. A ginger tea. Vanilla coffee, rosella tea, hibiscus. This is mocha, coffee and cocoa. Mango steam tea, the local fruit. Turmeric tea and lemon tea. Very good. So all the tea with the sugar and honey. Coffee with the sugar and soya milk, soya powder. Already okay. mixed. Except poly coffee. Okay. Okay. Yes, we can taste it all. We are here tasting the lemon tea. It is to die for. You should get on an airplane and fly to Bali and like go through like the temple thing and the lunch thing and the waterfall thing just to come here and try the lemon tea. It is exquisite. We're gonna get some of this and take it home. Okay, we're having the lemon tea. It is excellent. Anne is moving everything away so you can't see it because somehow it's all gone. It's all gone because it's so good. And she's pointing with her big finger there, her big pointing to the lemon tea. Last but not least, we're going to buy some Bali coffee. And there's the information on that. So these are all of the things we brought back with us from our coffee plantation tour. We bought some of the Bali coffee. No, we did not taste or bring home any of the coffee luwak, the most expensive one. Neither Jeff nor I were interested in tasting the cat poop coffee. So we stuck to the regular Robusta coffee. So that's this one. And then we got chocolate coffee, some Bali coffee with cocoa, that is. I bought some rosella tea. Um, it's basically hibiscus tea, which I absolutely love. And this is great for making iced tea, keeping it in the refrigerator. It's very healthy for you. So I bought some of that. And this was Jeff's favorite, the lemon tea. And I don't know if I had mentioned it, but when we got home, we both got COVID. And this, this helped Jeff feel better while he was dealing with COVID. And I bought some of the incense all over Bali. All you could smell was frangipani. And, oh, it was beautiful incense. Uh, so... I bought a package of this, have not used it yet. So it's a nice little souvenir from the coffee plantation.
Okay, I'm not real sure where we are. We're going to go on a swing. Big swing. I don't know where the big swing is, but I'm not great with heights. If that big swing is up here and that all that below me is going to be below me, I don't know if I can do that swing. Look here. Oh, yes. Beautiful rice fields below us. 